Hello, hello, and welcome back to a new video by the Desk Course Platform. My name is Johan, and I will be your host in this video. Okay, so we're actually gonna start a series, and in this series, we're actually gonna build something new. So, as you can see, we have here deskcourse.com, and at the moment, we actually are at, uh, at one of our courses. So, deskcourse.com is actually uh, built using WordPress, and yeah, it has been doing well for the last uh, three years. I've been using it since 2020. Before that, uh, Dashcourt was actually running on a custom system that I built myself. And the reason why I went to WordPress was actually because I sold the um, existing system, the whole technology tree behind it, and I actually also sold all the content to a Canadian company. But, you know, I always wanted to keep uh, teaching people how to code. And I was actually hoping to do that with WordPress. The biggest problem is it didn't really work out. So it has like a few flaws. So for example, the course management system itself, so LearnDash, um, it really doesn't, doesn't work very well. I mean, so for example, it's really hard to adapt all this. Like, I don't want to look at it like this, I, want to I wanted to do something else. If I wanted to adapt everything, I ha actually have to rewrite all the CSS. And yeah, it just doesn't work. For me personally, it doesn't work. I really hate it. And and I'm not even talking about integrations because uh, LearnDash has actually like um, it has like support for connecting as a REST API to iOS applications. So I actually implemented that in a test application, and the results were horrific. It was really terrible. And another problem is that LearnDash is actually integrated with WooCommerce, and this actually forces us to sell the courses uh, per per piece instead of like for example a subscription model and the biggest problem here is actually that we have to pay for the subscription system it's like 200 dollars a year and for me personally if you think about it as a developer that's a lot of money i can build it myself you know i can build something like that myself so yeah um we're actually gonna drop wordpress and we're gonna build a fully complete new platform including the front end which we're gonna build in react and gatsby and that's actually going to be really funny because we're going to record it as well. And I really never worked with React before, so that's actually going to be really cool. And we're also going to build an iOS application in SwiftUI. We had four different targets. So we're going to build it for iOS. We're going to give the custom UI for iPadOS, for macOS, and also for tvOS. So the coolest thing is, if you're ever sitting on your couch and you want to learn iOS development, you can actually do that from your couch. It's actually really cool. And we're actually going to use something that is called Vapor. So Vapor is a server-side Swift uh, framework for Ubuntu and for Linux servers. And the coolest thing with it, you can actually build REST APIs. So instead of uh, learning Node.js or using uh, PHP or Ruby on Rails or even Python, we can actually do, that, do all that in Swift. And that's actually going to be really interesting and really cool. And in this series, this I think it's going to be 30, 35 videos. I'm going to teach you how to work with Vapor, how to build your own API while building the API for DevScores Academy. And some of the people on Twitter call this uh, public, they call this uh, build in public. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to build a complete platform on, uh, on YouTube. And that's actually going to be really cool. I'm going to explain everything to you and why, and, uh, and why I made uh, certain decisions and how we do it. So the biggest reason why uh, we're actually going to change everything around again is I've been thinking about the way how we can actually give make dashboards like more known to the public and actually make it more interesting for people so the idea is actually that instead of creating full courses we're actually going to create like target courses so that actually means that as a beginning iOS developer you don't have to watch like three four hundred videos to learn how to code you can actually decide for yourself what you want to learn. So if you want to learn SwiftUI, you get you take like our SwiftUI course, maybe 30 videos to learn SwiftUI. If you only want to learn Swift or Advanced Swift, 20 videos. And that's actually the idea. So we actually want to specialize in certain targets. And we know we don't we don't want to teach you how to use it, but we also want to teach you how to understand it, so how it works under the uh, under the hood, right? How it works and how it renders and everything so that's actually going to be really interesting and if you are somebody who wants to uh, help me with instruction in, uh, to make courses please send me an email because i'm always looking for uh, smart people 
So yeah, that's actually going to be really interesting. So, if you guys are as hyped as I am, please let me know and start following the series. And then we can go to the next video where we're actually going to set up Vapor and how we can actually use it. Okay? So, thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.